Hey, dude, free. did you see what the teacher posted on Blackboard? Nah, man, she said something about a newsletter. <laughs> Good afternoon. Pass up your assignment. On behalf of the class, we don't understand the assignment. Could you elaborate, please? What concerns do you have on the assignment? Yes. So why do we have a camp newsletter? It allows students to share their experiences with each other, expressing their knowledge of social conditions, overlooking their family's backgrounds, and motivating them to be involved with the camp program. Yes. Who is the newsletter targeted to? It targets migrants and students whose parents didn't attend college. What does Camp Newsletter want to accomplish? They plan to pass on the stories of these students to a higher authority to get more support and help outsiders see what the university can offer other students in the same situation. Hey guys, this guest speaker is talking today. She's going to be talking about relevant topics and interest that would interest you guys in school and she's going to be talking about learning outcomes. Go guys. Hey man, we should go to this. It looks really interesting. Yeah, bro. She might be cute too. We are gathered here today for one purpose. A purpose that defines us all. The service learning outcomes and our class projects. Service learning number two states, students and certification tracks will demonstrate knowledge and skills in areas of writing, literature, reading, oral communication, and media literacy. This service learning is our everything. It connects to our class project in a way because in order to do the newsletter, our writing skills need to flourish. The other service learning outcome I will be talking to you today is service learning number one, which states, the student improves his or her writing by engaging in processes of it inventing, drafting, organizing, revising, and editing. This specific learning outcome connects to our class project, the newsletter, because in order to submit a final draft, an outline and organizing a draft needs to be turned in. In that process, students improve the writing skills by correcting their mistakes. Another example is through the process of peer review and where students grade each other's essay and give each other constructive feedback. Thank you all so much for your time today. Use the knowledge that I gave you and incorporate it in today's society. I'm out. I literally don't know what you're talking about. Okay, 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 I'll tell you. Service learning involves teaching and learning put into a meaningful community service to build one's civic responsibility and to strengthen the community. Oh, thank you. Thanks for your time. Hello? did in this English 1301 class uh, was the Emilia Hall reflection and in that reflection we talked about how minority st students uh, are giving extra support and this reflection this class assignment um, is connected to the service learning outcome number two in which in which it states that students will demonstrate knowledge and skills in areas of writing. And through this reflection, 
many of us showed our writing skills, many of us um, improved on our writing skills, and this is how it's connected to the service learning outcome. Thank you for sharing your wonderful story. Who else would like to share? I'll go. Hi guys, my name is Pekiname. Hi, Hi Pekiname. Hi guys. Okay, tying into, into, her, into her story, I have to say that the service learning essay that we did this semester was where we had to find out about other service learning projects that, that were out there across the country. And then with finding those ideas and about their experiences, we had to write our own, about our own pro project. And that really helped us, I guess, in saying, to tie in with the service learning outcome number one, where it talks about where the student has to invent, draft, revise, and edit, and present their own project or ideas to a group of people. And I guess that's how it would relate to this essay. Thank you for sharing that powerful story. Is there one last person that would like to share in there? Me. Yeah, Jeff. Hi, Hi Jeff. Jeff. The Capturing Experience article helped us learn the difference between service learning and mm -hmm. community service. Mm -hmm. And it ties in with service learning outcome number one. Students will be able to interpret and analyze text using different approaches. And that's how this assignment connects to this outcome. Thank you all for sharing. I'll see you all next week. Yep. So today we're going to learn the difference between the how. Okay, class, your assignment is due on Monday, okay? And I want it on my desk at 8 a.m. No later than that. Then I'll do it on Sunday. So that is your assignment. Get off your phone.